I mean, the, the consequences of foolishness is death. I mean, people who live as fools die as fools. I mean, but there is a cure. Let me just tell you something. How many of you are glad that we have a cure, that, that the Scriptures give us a cure, that in Jesus Christ there is a cure beyond measure? How many of you are thankful for that? So God reaches out His hand, and He offers people a way out of their foolishness into a kingdom of wise living. And here it is. Salvation is the cure for foolishness. You may say, how do you, how do you come up with that? F salvation by God is a cure for foolishness. I mean, in fact, Apostle Paul even reminds Timothy of his own heritage in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15. I want you to see it, and it says this. And how from childhood you've even been acquainted with the sacred writings. He's talking about the gospel. We're talking about the, 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 the writings that God gave his people, which are able to make you wise. The scriptures, the Bible, which are able to make you wise for what? Salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Thank you, the one person that answered. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it one more time. I'm gonna read it one more time. The sacred writings which are able to make you wise for what? Salvation. Ah, thank you, you're with me. That lets me know it. So good job, Pastor Tony. Just keep preaching the truth. Okay, thank you, I will. So um, I didn't break my arm patting my own back. So anyway, wisdom is found in scriptural truth. I mean, which can lead to salvation. And, and really, the only thing that can cause an individual to stop being a fool and become wise, I mean truly wise, is salvation. 